of so uh, of the number we're, we're you're saying of the evs about 0.5 percent were purchased by the federal government so whether on vox news or in congress have you ever seen what a republican looks like when they're done debating pete Buttigieg? <laughs> Okay, I'm just right now. Okay, all right, let's, let's just track this thing. Which is also to say, have you ever seen a dead body? <laughs> they just won't stop, can't stop. Um, Republicans keep challenging Pete Buttigieg, our Secretary of Transportation, also, of course, a military veteran and ran for president, and is just honestly one of the most talented debaters, uh, is more likable than any of these Republicans. That part's not tough. He's also a ton smarter than they are. Also not tough, but they just keep challenging him, whether he goes on Fox News and it's some doofus Fox pundit who they're just paying a big amount of money to be there because their daddy knows somebody or because it's some blonde who wears a tight shirt. Let's all be honest now. Or if it's one of these Republican members of Congress who's elected from some crazy right-wing district in some crazy even further right primary who you know, sits and talks about uh, the compact disc that the earth is uh, uh, and among other of their stupid conspiracies. In any case, I don't even know this guy's name, and, and it's not important because it's just so beautiful that he actually chose to challenge Buttigieg on the cost of electric vehicles again and who's buying them. And with that, I give you Pete Buttigieg. Well, the American people disagree. They do. Well, not. no, the American people buying. disagree with you because every year they're not they buy buying more EVs. EVs. No. Why do you think the they're buying more buying EVs every year than before? Because it was the. Present the numbers because every sure 1.2 million vehicles were purchased last year, and every and single how many quarter, of them were government? every how, how's that? How many of them were purchased by the government? Approximately 0 0.5 percent of so of the number. We're, we're you're saying of the EVs, about 0 0.5 percent were purchased by the federal government. The, the only reason why people are buying them is because of the subsidy. Well, the subsidy makes them more affordable and helps people uh, buy them. That's true. My time has expired. Don't f with me. Oh, well, uh, you mean 0.5% on the number of the car of the thing of the. Uh... Three, three, three and one, two bar. Sound it? Pound and loud. Pound says to bartender, how sh can I tell? Bart says, um, four time pound. And my time? Everybody tear. Everybody tear. I mean, <laughs> that dude was sputtering so badly, he looked like he had just downed a bottle of Jim Beam after he asked that question. It looked like he'd probably rather be anywhere else but right there. Now, politically, would you describe yourself as liberal, middle of the road, or conservative? Uh, well, I, I, I don't really like political labels. <laughs> <laughs> conservative. Because, man, like a velociraptor. Remember, they can open doorknobs. You sure the third one's contained? Yes. Unless they figured out how to open doors. <laughs> People just came in and just thrashed him. Uh, I was just, I mean, and they're so arrogant. He thought, of course, he had to be right, so he kept asking, and, you know, you'll get the same answer every time because it's, you know, the, the truth. We don't make up stuff like you guys do on the right. Like, one day FEMA's in North Carolina, the next day they're not, you know. In any case, chef's kiss, beautiful. Pete Buttigieg does it yet again. Uh, it makes Republicans look like idiots on an important topic and sends this poor little boy home crying. So he says, uh, yeah. well, you give him subsidies, because we don't do that for anything else, like, let's say, farmers. Uh, and then he's like, I yield my time. Beautiful. Keep crushing them, Pete. Yeah, are you actively dating? <sighs> <laughs> well, I go out on a couple of dates a week. Maybe more.